Everything worthwhile is uphill. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, John Maxwell suggests three questions you should ask yourself every single day. Enjoy. There are three questions that you need to ask yourself throughout your life. And if you can answer these three questions, your life will be full of passion and full of purpose. I want to give you those three questions because for almost 50 years now, those questions have stayed with me. The three questions are this. What do you sing about? In other words, what makes you happy? What do you cry about? What is it that saddens you when you think about it? And thirdly, what do you dream about? I believe every one of you, regardless of where your dream is going to take you and what your dream is, I believe every one of you would truly like to make a positive difference in your life. You would like to make your life count. I would like to share with you how you can become a difference maker in your life. Three simple thoughts, and and these three simple thoughts will will get you on the way to getting to your dream and making a positive difference in society. And the first one is very simple. Stay close to people who are making a difference. If you really want to make a positive difference, you got to hang around other people that are making a positive difference. Who you are and what you're going to become in the next five years are going to depend on the people you spend time with and the books that you read. Jim Collins calls this who luck. He says we all want luck in our life, but the most important luck that you and I can have is who luck. Who we're hanging around with, who we meet. Let that mantle, let that spirit, let that environment begin to envelop you until you begin to make a difference in your life also. Any time that you're talking to somebody that that has influence or that's done something wonderful, ask them, who do you know that, that I should know? And if you really want to make a difference in your life, you just got to get around those kind of people. And, and you can't meet them all. I started by reading their books. Be intentional in making a difference. I want to challenge you today to be very intentional in in, in making a difference, and and there's a reason for that, and I want to just take a moment and I want to give you a visual so so that we make sure that we have this today in the assembly. Everything worthwhile is uphill. It's the greatest life lesson I could teach you. Everything. Everything that's going to be worthwhile in your life, it's all uphill. Your dreams, they're all uphill. If you ever have a great relationship, it's all uphill. Everything worthwhile is uphill. And that's why you and I need to be intentional. Because you only go uphill if you're intentional. You see, most people, they don't lead their life. Most people accept their life. And everything that you want, the dreams, the hopes, the make a difference part of your life, everything, it's all uphill. That no one has ever spoken, no successful person has ever spoken or written a book on accidental accomplishments. It's all intentional. You see, the dream is free, but the journey isn't. It's all uphill. And the reason we need to be intentional in making a difference is making a difference is not easy. Doesn't come quickly. You see, here's our challenge. We have uphill hopes and downhill habits. And you can't go uphill 
with downhill habits. And the only way that you and I can ever achieve the potential that we have, the God-given potential. You see, your potential is God's gift to you. What you do with that potential is your gift back to God. None of us can achieve that unless we're intentional. I would encourage you to be intentional. And the third thing I want to share with you is this. Have a vision gap. Have a vision gap that stretches you to make a difference. A vision gap is the space between what you are doing now and what you could be doing. The only guarantee that tomorrow is going to get better is that you're growing today. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Bit Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.